Hello and welcome to ProDesign 3D Motor Starter and Motor Dialog. Today we will start with the ProDesign 3D project settings. So going into ProDesign 3D, I'm just going to go to project settings and just explain what we've done with the project settings. So to start with, we've added um, additional fields to the rivet load classification and load classification for ProDesign. So this allows us to identify if something's a motor or a load a lot easier than was previously done. So for a motor, I've set this up to say motor component types as a motor. If I want to change this to a load, I can. Um, you can change the type of arrangement. So if you want a three-phase motors to always be started as assisted start or soft start, we can do that. So we're going to do that in this scenario, and then we'll set up the three phase and neutral as a DOL just for this instance. So this allows you to map and make things a lot easier for when working within the Revit environment. So in this particular scenario I have a buzz bar system connected up and I have four motors set up. The reason I have four is I want to show the four examples. I want to show a DOL connection, a uh, connection at board, connection at motor and then a connection in between motor and starter. Now in most scenarios you may want to use the motor between quite often if you're doing the modeling systems. This is because it allows you to make those connections but if you wanted to use it at the board or at the motor you may model this within your own particular mechanical family type. So we'll start with this particular item over here. This has already been assigned to the power system. So I'm going to connect this to TAPL 4 in this scenario. So you will see that it connects up onto TAPL 4 and this is it over here. I'm just going to check the connections are made with a cable, which they should be, which they have been. So this is now a cable connection. So now if I go into this particular motor in Prozone 3D, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to edit component. You can see that this again brings up the motor dialog as it does in ProDesign. You can make the cable manipulations from here. And with regards to the motor detail, you can see everything here. So you can see here that this particular motor is a motor, is a motor is a DOL three phase and neutral. Um, we're going to select it as none and leave it as a DOL system. And we're going to OK this in a minute. What I want to show is that you can override these functionalities. So if I don't want this to be a DOL, I can pick a different stop start type, or I can even change it to a load type. That's up to you, up to your discretion. So I'm just going to unoverride that tick box and click OK. I'm then going to go into the next one, which is this item here, and I'm going to connect this to tapple three. I'm going to connect that to tapple three. So as you can see, it's now connected to TAPL3 here. I'm then going to go into this particular example again. I'm going to ProDesign 3D tab, and we're going to edit that component. And we can see over here, this is a motor, other this is to start, and I've already selected the override. You can select that on. I'm going to leave that on for the moment, and I'm going to connect this at the board. So we're going to make that connection do that. Then we're going to come down to the next one and we're going to do the same scenario. So we want to make the connections to that first. So that was on tap off three. So we want this to be on tap off two. Connect it to tap off two. Make connections here. We're going to go into ProDesign 3D again and we're going to have a look at this particular one. So we're going to go down to the motor again. You can see the overrides on because that's now been on grade. I'm going to make this a delta a star delta starter, and it's going to be at the starting position is going to be at the motor. So we're going to OK that. So now we've got all our connections for those three types. Now we want to have a look at the next scenarios. So now we have it in between a board and a motor. This particular switchboard unit has to be um, put in place. This needs to, within your family, be a panel board. So I'm just going to double click into here and just show you that information. So in here, this would be a panel board, and you would set this to one column, ideally. And within here as well, we're going to leave this as a three-pole system. And you can see we've not made any changes elsewhere. So I'm going to load this back into the project. We're just going to override the existing parameters. 
So now I've got a motor starter. I'm going to connect this motor starter up into the system. So just to show the system in place before we get too far down the line. The equipment has been changed from a motor starter to a switchboard due to the change in the circuit. Okay, that's because I originally had it as a motor starter to show the example. Here you can see this is unselected, but I can select different other options. For the motor starter to be selectable, you need to OK this, come out of this. You need to make the connections first. So we're going to go into here. We're going to connect this to tap off one. And we're going to connect this motor over here to this motor starter. So I'm going to connect this to motor starter one. So now you can see that this system comes from the tap off through a cable onto a motor starter onto another cable then to your pump unit. So now I'm going to go into this tap off unit over here. I'm going to ProDesign and I'm going to edit the component. You'll notice this is still active and you can have this arrangement as a switchboard. I'm going to change it to a motor starter. You'll notice that the whole dialog has changed to motor starter arrangement. You can see this is now in between and you'll notice all the others are all grayed out. And it, in the others you'll notice that this is grayed out in every instance. You can have the cable between so you can identify the cable from the starter to the motor and from the cable from tap off unit in this scenario to the starter. And you can make these different if you so wish. I'm just going to run a quick calculation just to show that the calculations do perform. And then I'm going to generate a schematic. So you can see there's an, a couple of various issues here, one of them being protected device in the settings. You can use the monopolies as I've identified in uh, previous examples and webinars to get into the details of where that item is. So I'm just going to close this for the moment. I'm going to generate the schematic here. And I'm going to generate this over here. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to overwrite this particular example. And I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to close this for a minute. Because that was the one that we had a minute ago. And I'm going to open up this example here, which is the same one. And now you can see that we have the different scenarios. If I just run the calculation again, we should come up with the same error messages, which we do. And this shows that it ProDesign 3D motor starter and um, motor starter and placement and dialog activates within Pro ProDesign 3D Revit. Um, thank you for watching this video, and hopefully this helps improve your workflows with working within Revit with ProDesign 3D.